Okay, so it's now 2am on the 17th of January 2019. We've had um, no wind, it's been really hot and since about 9 o'clock tonight, earlier, so that's what, five hours, we have had the most um, severe thunder and lightning rumbling around, going round and round in circles, keeps coming back for the last five hours. Um, and it's still around, it's kind of in the distance around at the moment, but um, it's all around and some of the lightning was so close and straight down. Um, I've been trying to catch it because I want to say I want to get the drones. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, my point being, um, I looked up the um, government website that issues out the warnings, weather warnings, and there was one issued for Canberra and surrounding areas that had been cancelled. It had been cancelled at, I think it was about 9.30. I'll put the picture up. I took a screenshot. Um, it had been cancelled. And at that same time, severe thunder and lightning arrived in Canberra. Um, all this is um, connecting with um, what, what's been going on with the bushfires and the heat wave. Um, okay, just quickly. Um, extremely cold winter, extreme. Um, the worst drought through winter on record. Um, then I had a few days here of extreme heat, extreme haze um, and smoke and wind. And it was a perfect scenario to have a repeat of the 2003 Canberra bushfires, which I now have a picture of a drone making lightning that started that fire. Um, I was here. Uh, the house that I'm living in now is on the edge of where that fire front was. Um, people died in that fire. Whole suburbs got burnt. Um, it was it was pretty bad. Anyway, um, got cut off. Uh, it was bad. Um, okay, then. Uh, getting back to the few days of extreme heat at the beginning of summer, I was connecting the dots and um, thought they were going to repeat that. And it turned out they did. I was going to make a video. Um, I got extremely targeted, so I didn't. Um, I'm now glad I didn't because, like back then, because. Um, it swapped and Queensland got burnt and we got flooded. Uh, normally it's the other way around. Um, now the entire country is in a heat wave. Um, it's, it was just, today it was just, it's the worst heat I've ever experienced. Um, even with air conditioning, um, you can't go outside. The wind, is, the wind is hot. It, when it's not windy, the air is hot. The sun just fries you instantly. Um, anyway, perfect conditions for extreme lightning. They cancelled a severe weather warning for Canberra. Nine o'clock tonight. And at nine o'clock tonight, we got severe lightning and thunder. And it's been going for five hours. Um, South Australia uh, is on alert.
for bushfires and we are hotter here than South Australia. Anyway, I've said my piece. I'm not happy about it. Um, and it's about time I said something because uh, they're, they're going around the world with this. Um, anyway, I hope I'm wrong. All right, take care. ...conditions to what we saw in 2003. A devastating bushfire that saw nearly 500 homes destroyed and four people's lives lost. Firefighters door knocked up to 700 homes from Canberra to Gordon to make sure residents had their bushfire plans in place. So this is a strong reminder to our community, to the ACT citizens, now's the time to get ready. Firefighters say this year's been so dry, another fire like the one in 2003 remains a real possibility for Canberra. Uh, Okay, so this next piece of footage um, is more evidence that they have been planning this for a very long time. Um, I'm proving it with the drones, like from 2003, um, and I, I personally have been watching them plan this since since winter last year uh, with the drought. Um, we've been we had an extreme summer last year um, and around April I think it was um, a plain truth dot info got um, photographic evidence of drones starting uh, the lightning strikes that caused the fires in Victoria last year before winter um, and now I have found drones making lightning that caused the 2003 Canberra bushfires. Um, I am the only one, apart from one other person, that has the evidence of this. Um, so I've got to get it out there. Um, Anyway, uh, this next piece of footage, um, unfortunately more of this footage was lost, um, but Nemesis managed to get me this little little snapshot, so cool. <laughs> um, thanks Nem. Um, anyway, I'm just going to read off the <laughs> read off the computer screen. Um, it was all along the Murray River. Um, he was seeing this uh, between Majura and Robin Vale. This is all in Victoria. The Murray River is the first place they found. They were finding the dead fish lately. Now it's all over the bottom corner, southeast corner of the country. Fish are dying everywhere. Um, but the Murray River was the first first place they saw this happening. Um, Anyway, uh, these trees um, are all the same. They're big trees, like the one in the video, with the with the circle cut around the trunk, um, and it looks like um, I agree. Uh, Nemesis Agenda said to me, um, it looks like they're ready like if a fire goes through there those trees would fall and block block the road block access to the river um, people wouldn't be able to get out um, or get to the water and it just it's it's very sus um, it's just more evidence 
Um, anyway, so I'll play the video. And thanks again, Nemesis. Uh, sorry, I'm not really with it. Um, yeah, I apologise. Um, I'm feeling pretty scattered and my ears are ringing a lot. Um, and there's vibrating in the back of my head. So, <laughs> um, goes with the territory. Anyway, um, I'll be fine. I just want to get this video done and get it, get it out there. Um, because nobody's reporting what's really going on here. Um, a few US channel, channels from the US are doing a really good job, but, um, and I get some of my information from them, actually, because nobody is reporting the truth. Um, so I'm just trying to fill in the blanks uh, from what I've been seeing and going through myself here. Um, yeah, so anyway, on with the video. I'm trying the other camera. It's flashing like the sky is flashing like crazy, and it's really bright and it's really blue. And I, I don't know if this camera's picking it up either. Just moved it so that the roof is in the picture. We'll see if it shows. Shows up. Whoa! Saw that one on the phone. Whoa! All right, come on, kitties, please. I'm not leaving you out here in this. Come on. Come on. All right, I've got to go. I've got to find the cats. Okay. Much love. Bye. Okay, so I'm inside. I can't um, go to sleep. <laughs> uh, Chronicles um, is on in about five hours, I think. Um, 1 p.m. desert time. And I can't sleep because the thunder is so loud and Gimpy is out in that storm. Um, I just jumped out of my chair <laughs> a minute ago <laughs> with the thunder. Um, I'm just terrified for Gimpy because he he is, gets so frightened. Like he runs and hides and cries, and he's out in that storm. Um, and I'm trying to sort of ramble on a bit so I can show you how f ferocious it is if I can't catch lightning bolts and it's flashing non-stop out there I'm looking through the window right now if I can't catch lightning bolts I want to catch this thunder because it's manufactured um, when I was a kid we did not have thunder this ferocious and mechanical sounding um, yeah so just just waiting just waiting maybe Maybe that was it. Maybe that was the final loud one before the storm moves on. But um, it's still rumbling around out there. So yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of rambling. I wanted to um, 
I want a loud one because you'll be able to hear it. You'll be able to hear it on camera, right here in this hallway. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway. Let's talk about the weather. <laughs> um, yeah, I know most of you are going through um, extreme cold and extreme variations in that cold weather. Um, here, it's started like that too. Like we've had relentless heat, um, so much so that there's bushfires everywhere. Um, there's bushfires everywhere, um, Tasmania's burning, uh, we had a scare, um, out at the Corran Dam today, in the bushfire, hopefully the rain is putting that out, but we have severe lightning storm right now, so, um, and Queensland is flooding at the moment, top end of Queensland. Um, they're getting another bout of it as I speak. Um, yeah, so. Sorry, I'm worried about Gimpy. I want him to come back. Um, anyway, yeah, fluctuations. Um, we've had one comfortable day and that was yesterday it was 21 degrees 20 um, degree difference in temperature sudden drop um, not complaining it was very comfortable um, but today again humidity over 35 degrees <clears throat> and tomorrow is going to be just as hot and then apparently it's going to drop again to like 20 degrees and then it's going to go up again and then down again anyway that's the seven day forecast for Canberra um, so we'll see we'll see how that works out okay I'm going to turn this off um, I'm going to turn this off I've got to go call the cat again what's the bet as soon as I hit the stop button we'll get a really really loud clap of thunder. Okay, I've got to go. picture of what's going on here now. Um, I'll leave links in the description. Um, please watch uh, a plain truth.info the Paradise Lost series um, and evolutionary energy arts I think is the name of the other channel. Um, he has good information on what's going on down here. Those two channels combined helped me fill in the blanks. Um, what I'm seeing here um, is misdirection and deception everywhere. Um, every day there's something different happening. There's a new disaster unfolding. Um, it's impossible, all things all at once. It's impossible to keep up with it. Um, and what they're doing is 
They're distracting everybody, not reporting things, making people look in a different direction while they prepare for the next one and get ready. Um, or makes everybody look the other way um, or not report things while they're covering up something else that's getting obvious, um, like the fish, for example. They can't cover that up anymore. Um, it's too big. Um, all the rivers are drying up, the lakes are drying up, um, and all the fish are dead. Birds are falling from the sky. Um, and my favourite, cancelling storm warnings while the severe storm is hitting in that area that's previously just been warned about that they've cancelled. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm getting very passionate about this because I'm right in the middle of it. Um, anyway, uh, if you're an Aussie and you're hearing this, they're not warning people about the searing heat, um, how, dangerous it is, how dangerous it is to be in the sun, in the heat, um, so please keep your children indoors, um, it's deadly. Please stay indoors and stay cool. Um, much love to all. Okay. See yous.